Hello YouTubers and thank you for tuning in to today's Fit Club Daily Toy View as always as per usual and um, yes today is of course the 31st of August 2021 it looks like it's going to be the last hurrah of our summer hooray but yes I know summer opinion wise it's been one of the coldest so far though in August though it's also been one of the wettest on record though and strangely enough uh, even though it was quite hot or warm in Scotland though, we didn't really reach the um, 30 degree mark in August of 2021 as we would have hoped for though. But nevertheless, summer 2021 was just one degree warmer than average though, which was quite interesting I suppose. I know June was drier than average. Yes, June was drier than average though, as I should have started here though. And both July and August were pretty much well, wetter than average, but I noticed both June and July were pretty much hotter, if not warmer than average. Very amazing, isn't it, eh? Maybe I should have said it the other way around. Warmer, if not hotter, the other way around, eh? That's what I should have said, really, eh? But yes, in this video, I'm going to be finishing off uh, my series of vloggers with only just two bland flip-flap products. And I'm just thinking, why do I have to make... Um, two of these products here, we've got like a lesser black back girl small flock 5 pack and we've also got some ponies as well, it's a background unit. oh my goodness me, it's a £7.99 toy it's a unicorn 5 pack, it's called the small herd of mares 5 pack though, even though I'm, it should have said like that it says like that actually though, background unicorn pony mares small herd 5 pack which costs about £8 and then I've got the seagulls product there which costs about £6 or £5.99 that's strange, I've never seen uh, a very nice looking seagull with such nicely um, lavished uh, detailed wingtips like that, entirely black. I would often say the kitty waves are like the only seagulls that have like, you know, entirely um, black wingtips. That and that. Um, but yeah, it looks chronically nice though, that artwork there. And it's also a very nice redesign change as well, to be quite obviously honest today. Eh? And there's the back of the packaging here, eh? It doesn't look too bland. I think I did one of these before in 2019. I'm not sure if I can remember that one, eh? I could do a, a nice rebooted 12 pack and that. And there's also this one here. I'm going to take a look at the back of the packaging now and see what the ponies look like there, eh? I definitely say that, the, um, that this product is basically a remaster of what I did back then in 2020. So it feels like we're getting a bit of repeats. But yet again, um, let's see what the characters are going to be like there inside, eh? Oh yeah! There you go, that's the front of the packaging, eh? Only thing how different it is, eh? Right, let's go ahead and take a look at the ponies. Um, I'm going to show you my first glance of looking at those. This one here is Lara Heartstrings, though. She's got like a very interesting um, colour com combinations of orange and yellow and strange enough the reason why I make you know products that look like repeated products I've made from previous years or so on is because one I want to keep myself busy two I just don't want to be lazy anymore though that's why though and number three I've got loads and loads of flip up products though that I really want to make and I'm actually feeling very very busy at the moment though and in fact September is going to be one of those busy months for me though because well everyone's getting back to college and school and whatever you're going to go for your education and whatnot though and look at that you can even shake shake the booty oh my god I'm not going to say the A word though otherwise I'll be I'll be um demonetized there you go there's the name the name Lara Heartstrings eh she looks pretty um turquoisey aquamarine Maybe cyan looking pony though. She looks so beautiful though. She's got like a lyre. Was it a lyra? I can't remember. It looks like we. Uh, strangely enough, it actually looks like a harp. I need to look at that, that piece of instrument at Wikipedia and what it is though, really, eh? Uh, I can't remember. What, I'm pretty sure it spells L Y R E. But the character itself is correctly named as L-Y-R-A as a reference to My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. There you go. Next one here I'm going to show you is a minuet there, this blue unicorn here. With what it looks like to be a beautiful looking uh, bluish grey and darkish blue main colour combination here. Pretty much almost similar but what we all know is that the hooves look more like hooves rather than just 
well, legs that have like, you know, a very weird, I would just say, uh, flipper like design. Looking more like a marine mammal than an, than an equine or a hoofed mammal. There you go, this is Minuet's uh, cutie mark, like that. Actually, the cutie mark's on the side, but I'm actually showing you the name right in his butt, or her butt, though, actually, there, because she's a female, though, appropriately enough. Okay, looking very unicorn esque. Next up is Sea Swell, having a bit of a very similar design to that of Minuet Day. She looks pretty much purpley and lavendery, or lilacky, has a beautiful colour name, of course. And there you go, there's her name. Strange, I wonder why I'm making so many reboots. I'm pretty sure I've got a very busy day, though. In fact, um, hopefully, as I make more of these um, toys, this is Lemon Hearts. Okay. Actually, in the why I'm named Lemon Hearts, I actually tend to replace the letter S for hearts at the end for the letter Z. Strange. Not sure if you read that well, but it said Lemon Hearts in a very daft way. And let's not forget the cutie marks, because without the cutie marks, well, it doesn't define myself as a cool model pony toy. Even though I've actually made them all by myself, this is Twinkle Shine. Okay, I've got a few painting pony products there, a few Vietnamese toys, the Vietnam 2021 toys, I don't know if I'm going to get into them right now, do I? And strangely enough, I actually haven't been making them a lot though, because I'm still waiting for major components that are very special to be part of my collection now, there you go. Beautiful blue eyes. She looks nice, as much as the cutie mark. Okay, that's that product done. And hopefully, I'll be right as rain. And my goodness me, I, I'll still be doing vlogs though, from like the rest of the four months day. But I won't do that one often there. Let's get the seagulls out and see how they're like. Uh, see if there's any um, differences or not though? No, I don't see any differences on these girls though. They look superbly beautiful. Okay, there's their names. Lesser Blackback Gull. Uh, they've got more of a sooty like, um, I would just say colorization here. Some of them have got like, you know, uh, errors where uh, there's a bit of, I would just say, a bit of yellow uh, ink prints there that, that were pretty much in place by accident there. As my fingers weren't really dry back then, they silly me. <laughs> uh, but yet again, they all pretty much look similar in design. Though uh, this one here's got a very strange-looking um, beak there, which looks like it's a bit dirty, day. Uh, but nevertheless, these guys—they're just pretty much uh, nicely made for the sake of being rebooted, eh? Oh, or should I say, redesigned? Because that's what I'm trying to, you know, explain with, eh? And um, I have to say, these designs, they look very impressive indeed though, no matter on how discoloured the beak or the, um, you know, the feet are. I suppose they all look pretty much the same with their beautiful yellow legs, bright yellow legs of course. And um, here's the other one there. It's always as usual though. Strange, isn't it though? I might have to take a look at the other girls and... Um, in this product that I'm currently reviewing there and see if there's any constant yellow smudging errors there. Uh, I can't see any um, errors there. Maybe this one here? I'm not sure if you can see that but there's a hint of yellow right just in between the legs and the tail. Right over there there. Well, the bright yellow legs are right over there. And that there, I can see a bit of yellow, I'm not sure if you can see, I'll try and get a bit closer, but there's a hint of a bit of a smidgy, um, a bit of a smidginess of yellow that shouldn't be there. So that was definitely my bad of pretty much, well, me covered in yellow ink with that to happen there. But anyways, I think that's about it in this video. And strangely enough, I don't have that much of that toy these to review on August the 31st day because we're going to September. And um, yes, I have to say that once we head towards September, it really is going to be a very radical change in the way I make videos there these days though because i got a funny feeling. Man, oh man, uh, I just can't believe it. August 2021, I think, in my opinion, it actually went well. Then um, the August of last year day, which was another vloggers uh, year day, because, well, there were no trains running at all day, and not only that, 
But um, yes, that's my hands are starting to get drier and drier and itchier and itchier. Um, yes, it's quite obviously strange that um, you know it feels like I haven't been doing. Um, I would just say it, flip flat toy product reviews that well last year though. But uh, maybe it's because of the fact there wasn't that much diversity of toys. Although I did make vehicles there, which was quite great though. Um, maybe that was something missing in August 2021, just to uh, avoid of getting um, overheated from the um, summer heat. But anyways, summer heat is gone and summer is dead. If you really enjoyed this video today, please give this video a great big like. One or two will be fine, of course. Eh? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content today. Please do. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And bye for now, and I'll see you in September. Bye!